here it is good size rock python all right y'all we got a good one for you today this is one of the craziest captures i have ever had and is definitely one of the rarest invasive species we have here in florida so come on and let's get into it As I'm approaching this snake, I get within maybe 15 feet of it, 10 feet of it, and it goes into straight attack mode. I got it. It's wrapping around me now. It's getting around my body, around my neck. I gotta drop the phone. We got him, boys. Holy shit, this thing put up a fight. Whew! This this large snake actually fought so hard that it exerted itself where it pushed its own anus out and prolapsed it about the size of a damn grapefruit. And uh, as I'm wrestling with this, this thing, it's getting around my neck, it wipes this damn rotten butthole grapefruit right across my damn lip, son. And uh, that's one of the nastier situations I've been in. As I'm wrestling this thing, there's a younger couple, maybe 50 yards from me, sitting on the hood of their car, actually smoking a doobie. And uh, when I come up off the ground with this damn snake wrapped around me, spraying shit everywhere, looking crazy, they must have not known what the hell they were looking at, maybe thinking the weed's making them trip out a little bit. They hop in their car and peel out of there, son. They don't ask me if I'm all right, if I need help, nothing. They were gone. After finally gaining control of the snake, um, I walk it back over to my truck, and I mean, I got a crowd waiting for me. All the people are coming out of their houses. I got grandmas trying to hide their kids, and uh, you know, it was a wild scene. But uh, at the end of the day, I was the local hero for 15 minutes there. Everybody was thanking me, and um, you know, it's a scary thing having a, a large foreign animal loose in your neighborhood that could hurt a child or a dog. So the capture of this North African rock python is a pretty big deal in Florida. There have only been a few ever captured. And uh, for us to have it alive and be able to get a fresh necropsy on it uh, was a, a pretty important moment. So uh, FWC reached out to me. They A, wanted to make sure I'm euthanizing the snake, uh, which obviously I am. And B, they wanted to know if I would donate it to research, uh, which I did, but I wanted to be involved with it. So I actually went in there and helped with the necropsy and got to see, you know, all the kind of cool, interesting, nerdy stuff. Uh, and it, it definitely was very interesting. Uh, this specific snake was riddled with tumors. I think it had over 30 tumors inside of it we found. Um, looked like it had a fresher meal inside, maybe a possum or a feral cat. And, um, you know, it, it goes to show the difference between a snake surviving in an urban setting versus snakes surviving in a wild setting. The wild pythons, we generally don't find tumors like that. Um, this one in the city was probably eating uh, cats or possums or raccoons that are getting in a trash, eating trash, a lot of plastic and different things like that. Um, a lot more human foods. So, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting to see what effect that has on a wild animal. And uh, it, it wasn't a good effect. So for me, it was a very cool moment to be able to help out a community, capture such a rare animal and um, be able to provide some insight to the state of Florida and their biologists into this uh, very dangerous species. So very rewarding for me, um, you know, an exciting capture and, uh, you know, one more, one more notch on the belt, I guess. So really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching. And uh, if you guys wanna support, get any of the leather products I have made from the animals I capture, you can go to pythoncowboy.com, go to the custom leather section, and um, anything you purchase, all the money goes right back into my operation. So uh, it really helps out. Appreciate you guys a bunch, and we'll see you at the next one.